I'm Elena Crespi, I'm a researcher of the Sustainable Energy Center in Fondazione Bruno Kessler and last week during the Hydrogen Week in Bruxelles I was awarded as one of the Young Researcher of the Year. This uh, is an award given by Hydrogen Europe Research and uh, it is given to young researchers below 45 years old uh, that have uh, contributed to projects related to hydrogen. And uh, in particular, the, um, the award is uh, organized in uh, four pillars and uh, I contributed to the hydrogen usage one. I was very happy to receive this award as a recognition to the work I did uh, during uh, the last year, starting from my master thesis and then during my PhD and now here in FBK, where I am uh, working on uh, different projects related to hydrogen. Uh, in particular, I am uh, studying a uh, uh, system uh, to produce hydrogen that are the electrolysis system and also system uh, that uses hydrogen for uh, final uses and in particular uh, fuel cell systems. In uh, my master thesis, I studied to work uh, on a uh, fuel cell uh, system. My goal uh, was uh, to develop a model of this system to optimize its performance, uh, allowing to produce electricity in the most efficient way. Then uh, I continued to study the fuel cell system uh, during my PhD uh, in uh, Politecnico di Milano. Here I studied uh, always low temperature, flexible uh, electrolysis and fuel cell system. Now here in FBK, I'm uh, mainly focusing on uh, hydrogen production, studying uh, high temperature solid oxide cell. I'm working on two European projects, uh, Prometeo and uh, Switch. Both of these uh, projects uh, use a high temperature cell that can work up to 700 degrees Celsius and uh, this uh, technology can uh, reach a very high electrical efficiency. Prometeo project wants to produce hydrogen with a solid oxide electrolysis system that is fully integrated with renewable sources. While Switch want to design, building and testing a system that is able to produce hydrogen continuously. This system will work in electrolysis mode during the day and when electricity, renewable electricity is available, producing renewable hydrogen, and then will be used in a fuel cell mode when the electricity is not available. And in this case, it will use biogas to produce simultaneously electricity and hydrogen. I think that uh, these kind of awards are very important to encourage the young researcher and uh, also women in uh, starting uh, their uh, activity in this field.